Hey everyone, it's Lori, and I am here today because we are in the midst of cleaning and organizing our house and getting some new bookshelves and reorganizing our books. So I thought I'd start with a little before tour, and depending on how long that takes, we'll see if I do the before and after together or if they end up being two separate videos. So Eva went around uh, with her camera and kind of videotaped all of our bookshelves to show you the very, very terrible before images. So I will so cut to that and tell you a little bit about our books. Um, as you can see, I have a ton of audio books up there. Uh, this is some of our like favorite books. These shelves aren't too bad. It's when you get lower here, you can see my habit of double stacking the books. So this one's only two. It's as deep as this one will go. And also my habit of just piling up a whole bunch of books because I don't know where to put them. So those are all books that I didn't know what to do with. Big old bin of audiobooks. Um, as you can see, got a lot of great hall productions and things like that in there. This is um, Charlotte's room. She's just got some cube storage going on. And it's just basically a giant mess, but she does have some books in here as well. So some of her favorite things kind of live here. So that's Shakespeare and Bullfinch's mythology and her second set of cubes. She, like her mother, likes to stack books double thick. So sometimes there's a second row of books back there. So this could use some work. And this one's the bookshelf in Eva's room. Um, it probably gets the least, like, taken on and off of it but that doesn't mean it's not kind of a mess so um, it's going to be interesting we're going to move this out of her room altogether. here's my cookbook collection from my china hutch uh, i'm planning on getting rid of that and culling my cookbooks a lot and then this is uh, where we keep some of our school books this is in our living room um, so these are mostly things we use for school uh, so it's pretty full, but not like double or triple stacked. And then these are our main bookshelves in our uh, living room. Those are double stacked. Um, and then here Eva's trying to show that I think I had this one triple stacked. Um, lots of books. So we just have way too many books for these bookshelves. But if we don't um, put it on this bookshelf, I tend to forget about it because the rest of our bookshelves are down in our basement and I try to avoid it down there as much as possible. So I'm pretty sure every single shelf on here is at least double stacked, if not triple. Oh, here's a triple stacked one for sure. So move those out of the way. And then we've been moving even more out of the way to show to my true shame that there are three deep there. Uh, and books just kind of get crammed anywhere right now, so hoping to come up with a better system. And then this has like these tiny shelves at the bottom that really aren't very useful. Um, these bookshelves aren't very tall either, so we're going to take those downstairs. That's These are our downstairs shelves. These are going to come upstairs. Um, some of these are double stacked, not as many, but we have a lot of our picture books and a lot of old school books down here, and those might stay. I plan to cull our books quite a bit too, um, and I have a large number of our Catholic books down in the basement just because that's kind of where they got stashed in one of my organizational things. So there's one shelf, and then here's a second one. Eva's kind of into the extreme close-ups, but... I do have a lot of different books in here. Um, you can tell that I pull things out. At one point, these were better organized, but we got some double and triple deep uh, on these shelves as well. So this is the main part of our basement here. So these are taller shelves, so they have more shelving space. And then it's just trying to show how I really do stack things way too deep, so there's some books in different directions there. Those tend to fall over every time I try to find something there. Not a good solution. 
And this is the third bookshelf that matches those. I'm not really sure why the extreme close-ups, but these are in our guest room. Um, so there's just not as many books in here, but it's also a guest room, so we don't go in it that often. So I hope you enjoyed that um, tour of our bookshelves um, and, you know, pray for me while we try to get these organized and in some way making sense in our house. So I will be back uh, eventually, hopefully before too long, uh, with a kind of finished product video, what it looks like after we're all done. And hopefully it will be beautiful and gorgeous and we'll be able to find all the books we need to find for the next year. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I will see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.